So we're back again because I'm going to show you how to move the frame and to put the uh, frame on the lower part of the design. So we've got the cup of tea and I'll just take the post off the seat frame or the barrel clamp. I keep changing between the two, I can't really decide, but these hoops go onto either a seat frame or a barrel clamp. So if you look at this piece, I'm using um, saran wrap or cling film. Saran wrap's just a trade name. Lakeland Plastics do a very similar heavyweight um, plastic in uh, the UK. Or Isn't it what they call it in America, uh, saran wrap? <laughs> didn't I say that? No, you didn't say it. It was, <laughs> it was what they call it in America. Yeah, they did. I don't know what they call it in, um, they call it, is it glad wrap in Australia? Anyway, okay, so if we come down onto the piece, Richard, um, then I'll just show you that when you take your frame off, don't take it off with a thumb either side because you'll strain your wrist. Just take a little squeeze all the way around. Now this is so tight, this has been a really tight frame, but the plastic just assists it and you roll that up. See Bella's quietly, patiently waiting for her supper there, Richard. Yeah, well, she'll wait a while because she's just had lunch. <laughs> she's, yeah, we're trying to feed her three feeds a day, very small at the moment, because she's getting rather obsessed with food. Mm, so, and she uh, can smell the fish for the cats. Yeah, that's the trouble, isn't it? So, yeah. right, okay, so I've got the um, frame loose now, and that'll go down on the table. And uh, <laughs> meanwhile, the dogs are mountaineering over there, never mind. Um, what are you doing, Bella? It's your room. She's going to be taking over her room it's, for filming. It's my coffee, actually. <laughs> Okay, right, back onto the um, onto the piece on the table. Right, so you put the screw down on the table towards your belly and then take the plastic and just lay that onto your piece. Now I'm going to try and reuse this because I've just cut a window in it um, and sometimes you can just reuse the, the plastic again and again. And then I'm going to take the design because I want to work down, oh, it's really exciting, I'm behind the horse now, with the laden couch work, which is this long line with the couching little stitch in between. So I'm going to take that and I'm just going to place that with the cloud, which I've got to finish the bottom corner of, uh, just placed at the top area of the frame. So how does that look, Mr. Cameraman? Yeah, fine. Is that okay? Well, yeah, a bit bent. But it's fine. <laughs> yeah, well, it'll be bent, but it's the right area. Okay, so, and then I'm going to put that down on the table. Of course, when you've done a bit, you can see the shadow of the frame behind. And then take your inner frame. Now, it's very important to fold this down um, so that you don't get an injury. So, now, because we've stitched quite a big area, I'm going to actually just loosen the frame slightly with a screw, just a couple of twists there. And let's uh, just see if we can get this down. Now, you can either push it down a little bit yourself like that, or you can get your paddle. So you've got two sort of points of contact and your other hand on the other side. So it's like having a friend to help you. Right, and I love using the paddle. It's much gentler on your hands. And you can really push that down Got to have a reasonably strong table for this. You don't want to go around breaking anybody's tables. Done that before, right? And then when you turn it over, luckily, yep, it's just helped by letting the whole thing slip down like that. And just test your frame by running your finger around the edge of the shape of the hoop, just inside the hoop. And if there's any little troughs, like there's a little trough there little dip in the fabric. Just take your hand, opposite hand, and just squeeze that across. And if you don't have much for grip, just put one side of it next to your body and just use both hands and just pull it towards you like that. And then, Richard, guess what I'm going to do next? I couldn't begin to guess. <laughs> what are we on now? Three minutes, the clock is ticking. Um, next thing I'm going to do is to take the uh, colour, the blue background, and work the next section. So I'm working this section by section, and I'm going to work the next section of this laden couch work, the noughts and crosses behind, before starting on the leaves. Oh, exciting. So it's always the background before the foreground, and in this case, I'm going to go one shade lighter with the blue, so that it's got a very deep blue behind the top bit, and then the blue gets paler in sections. And if you're using up your stash and you're short of walls, that's a really good little tip. 
but use the same colour in both directions on your laid work. So this way and this way. So again, I take a really long length and <laughs> lay it across. What is Bella barking at now? Is there something outside? Oh, nothing. You're just She's just telling in. you that that's probably long enough. Okay. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs>